Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing today? I hope everybody's having a good day and you're here at Hands Media channel and today we have a new video. I hope that the last videos that I've done on the microphones has been helpful. A lot of people give me good uh, likes and comments on it and I'm glad that everybody likes it. So today we're going to be talking about a new microphone that is really, really, really nice, cheap, affordable and has an amazing sound quality of my testing but before we go deep in that microphone and in that video i want you guys to please subscribe to the channel and please let me know in the comments what do you like what do you dislike what the stuff that you want to watch in the next videos and uh, if you have any question about any of these gears that i used or reviewed please let me know all right before we start a video let's roll the intro And we are back, everyone. All right. So today we're going to be talking about uh, the Audio Technica 2100X. All right. So I have the microphone here with me. Here it is. Let me take it out from this stand right here. As you guys see, oops. All right. As you guys see, it's a very, very nice microphone. It looks clean, it looks sturdy, it looks good. It, it's good for a lot of applications, actually. This is a USB microphone and an XLR microphone. So you can see here, I'm gonna show you that it has both of them. It has a USB connection and it has an XLR connection. That is one of the very few microphones that can provide this. And on top of this, it's a dynamic microphone and people that knows what dynamic microphone is, it's really that microphone that picks really good, strong audio without capturing any of the uh, external noise or the background noise that you can have in your surrounding. And we're going to go in details about this. So let me talk to you a little bit about the build quality for this microphone. This microphone is actually built really nice, built really strong. Audio Technica is one of the companies that really takes very good care of their build uh, of their products and they're very innovative. They've been doing this microphone is the newest version of the 2100 that was previously done I, I believe like seven eight years ago. It's a very very well known microphone and uh, the reason I was uh, I bought this microphone actually because during the quarantine area and the quarantine uh, part, I was trying to uh, record in my uh, home studio or actually in my son's uh, room. So there was a lot of like noise of him playing outside or somebody's watching TV in the other room or something like that. So then I wanted something that would pick up only whatever I'm saying without having any sort of distraction or, or background noise. And for some reason, I like the sound of dynamic microphones. As you can see here, I'm talking in the Rode pod mic. I love that dynamic sound feel, you know, the, the proximity and the, and, the, and the style of that sound. This is something that I really like. So then I decided to buy this one. And it shocked me to see that I can use both of them. I can use it as an XLR, just like the pod mic, or I can use it to connect directly on my computer. As you know, guys, uh, up pod mic or the XLR microphones normally needs you to have an audio interface in order to be connected to your computer or connected to your uh, audio recording uh, system, whether it's a Zoom or anything. If, if, you, if you have a Zoom, all you need to do is just connect it straight to the Zoom from the XLR. But what if you don't have uh, an external recorder and you just have your laptop? You're, you, have, you have a gaming channel, you have uh, a podcast, you have something that you want to do and you don't want to spend that much money this will come in handy it's just a usb right there it's actually really nice it's a usb c so you connect the usb c here straight to your computer and you're good to go this is something that a lot of people like these days one of the competition for something like that was the blue yeti let me show you all right the blue yeti blue yeti is one of the big competitions uh, 
I wouldn't say the big competition. It's the biggest name in the USB uh, microphone uh, world. But the difference between the Audio Technica 21M, uh, 2100X, and the Blue Yeti is going to be that this is a condenser microphone with uh, four different pickup patterns, and this is a dynamic microphone with only one pickup pattern. So let's uh, move on and connect it so you can guys hear exactly what I'm talking about, enough with the styling and the look. So let me connect it and let's listen to it. All right, now you can hear me from the Audio-Technica 2100X. I hope that you guys can uh, see the difference between the microphones. I wouldn't say there's gonna be a lot of big difference between both. All right, pr let me tell you exactly what I was recording before recording, before I was recording on the Rode pod mic connected to my Zoom H6. Now I'm using the Audio-Technica connected straight to my computer, nothing uh, compressed there's no uh, processing there's no effects there's nothing whatever you heard from the pod mic was straight from the pod mic and now whatever you're hearing from the audio technica is straight from the audio technica i would say that this mic would give you the richness that you were looking for and the look of the professional microphone not just by the looks of it uh the actual sound of a professional microphone what I like about I'm 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 not a music professional or I'm not a technician when it comes to audio, but what I know is the dynamic sound pick up some sort of a richer, uh, deeper, bassy kind of uh, sound that will translate nice onto the actual audience and it will sound nice and appealing on the actual audience. This is something that I like. This is something that a lot of YouTubers, uh, whether for gaming or podcasting, like. Um, one of the things that I will notice or I start noticing is the plosives. Well, this one uh, does not handle plosives really well versus the pod mic. The pod mic handles pl uh, plosives much better. So let me give you a couple examples here like pizza pronto, pizza pronto, papa peg, papa peg. So you guys can tell uh, that the, the plosives are really strong in this one. One of the good things about it as well that it also have... Uh, a headphone jack for monitoring you can actually hear while you're talking you can have direct monitoring with zero latency uh, whatever you're saying or whatever you're doing whether you're podcasting or gaming you can actually listen to yourself and listen to your mix and this is something that can be done easy on the computer one of the other uh, uh, things that came with the box it came was with a stand and this stand is bad so guys, please do not use this stand. I'm gonna show you that stand uh, in, in, in one of the B-rolls, but it's it's not a good stand to use. So I recommend you use uh, one of the stands that you can buy on Amazon here for about 20 bucks, something like that that I'm using. It sits nicely here and it's really good. One of the other things also that I like here and that microphone is it has an on and off switch, which becomes handy if you want to stop your recording at any time or you want to mute yourself at any time. This is some of the features that I like. Um, let's talk a little bit about the stuff that I really don't like about this microphone. The stuff that I don't like about this microphone, number one is the stand. We talked about this. The stand is really, really bad. The second thing that I don't like about this microphone is that the, the actual headphone jack that used to connect to the, the headphones, when you can uh, uh, try to connect it to your camera, it, it have some uh, a lot of like self noise. It, it have a lot of like uh, static and a lot of, um, I would say, you know, the scratchiness, the kind of thing. And it, the, the, that comes with a lot of noise. So I don't recommend you use the external uh, recording part of it. Uh, use mainly the USB or use an XLR. And that is one of the things that you're going to like about this microphone. Uh, of course, uh, if you can connect it to the Zoom H6 or any uh, external recording using the XLR uh, that comes in here, and that's a very good feature. Actually, this is one of the pros that something like this is really, really, really good and can be become so handy. Uh, one of the things that the signal that I see, I can see here my signals are really nice and really rich. Uh, this is not a gain-hungry uh, dynamic microphone like the Assure SM7B or the Rode mic. This one is really hot 
it's really nice it's sensitive yet still dynamic so i can see my peaks really really good and i'm sure that the sound also sounds really good uh other cons that i would say is that it needs always to have a, a, a pop filter whether you can use an external pop filter like that or use the on the microphone but this is this is not like a bad thing you know that that plosives con can be handled uh, just using a pop filter um what i recommend this microphone is for really somebody's uh, that is looking for that dynamic quality at the same time doesn't want to break the bank uh doesn't want to spend so much money on on a sure sm7b or road pod mic with a lot of um, interface and cloud lifter and all the stuff like that if you want to get this kind of rich sound and beautiful beautiful sound like that you can get this mic uh if you don't care about that much of uh, i would say the that deepness or the throatness of this sound, you can go with something like the Amazon Basics microphone, which is an amazing microphone that I just uh, reviewed, and it's surprisingly amazing. I'll leave the link down below. And uh, one of the other things that I would compare it to is people that are buying their first microphone. If you record in a very closed environment, if you record in a nice, uh, I would say sealed environment, uh, not a lot of noise, Blue Yeti or condenser microphones would be good. But if you're a gamer and actually doesn't want to have the, 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 the keyboard sound and and all the clicking that comes from the, the uh, keyboard, use, use this mic because the dynamic microphones will give you those, these two benefits. It will prevent the background noise. It will not prevent it. It will cut it up pretty much a big time. And at the same time, it's going to give you that rich, clean sound that you see a lot on YouTube videos. Let me show you right now what's the difference uh, of the sound if you try to use this microphone and how does it pick up from the side. So let me just use it like that. Now, I'm a little bit far from the microphone. I'm talking from the side. Now I'm talking from the other side. Now I'm talking from the front. This is how I used to like record. Now I'm going to be going a little bit back. All right. I'm about 12 inches away from the microphone right now. And you can listen to it. Right now, I'm almost one feet away from the microphone and you can listen to it. Now I'm going to be back in front of the microphone and you can listen to it. Now I'm going to be talking behind it. Now I'm going to be talking from behind the microphone and I hope you can listen to it. And now I am putting it the way that I like to put my microphones to get rid of my plosives. Just uh, three, four inches away from uh, my mouth and a little bit towards the side. And this is how you can listen to it. So let me wrap up uh, my conclusions for this microphone. This microphone is really, really, really a good option. Uh, it's it's good for everybody. It's good for YouTube talking head like what I'm doing right now. It's good for uh, anybody that is singing. It's good for singing. Pretty much, is, this is this is a dynamic microphone. This is the style of microphones that they use on stages, on big stages. This microphone has an XLR. If you have a mixer or uh, just connect to your USB, if you have uh, just a computer, this microphone is good for gaming. This microphone is good for. Uh, uh, any type of video that require that you're going to be speaking to the mic directly. This is not recommended for people that do vlogging because this is not a mic that you can connect to a camera. This is not a mic good for cooking channel or, or home channels that do cooking and stuff like that because you need to have the mic with you on, on a lot of occasions. So I recommend either a shotgun or a lav mic. But um, at the end of the day, I hope that you guys can know an idea. This is not a technical review this is not a specifications uh, with the hertz and 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 kilohertz and all the stuff like that this is a review for a regular person a regular buyer that anybody can do it just like me from a regular standpoint and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed that video and i'll leave a link for this microphone in the comments right there i hope you guys enjoy the video if you like the video please subscribe if you like the video you can press the like uh, let me know in the comments what else you would like to hear and uh, 
I hope to guys that see you next video.